They are the last line of defense for the team. They dictate pack space, set up the defense. Then there's this big group of players in back of them. Wave, ladies. They are known as the blockers. They're like the offensive linemen in football. They help their speeder get through while stopping, trying to stop the other jammer. Now, speaking of the jammers, the two ladies in back with the stars on their helmets, they are known as the jammers. They are the point scorers of Rollerville, the only people that can score the points. And now to the game play, we'll give it over to Miss Ida. All right, all these ladies are waiting for that first whistle, and the pack is going to take off. There we go. On the second whistle, there's two of them. And the jammers take off. Of course, this is nearly half of the speed of real roller derby. Both of these jammers are going to try to get through that pack nice and clean, legal beagle. And the first one that's able to do so gets the big alpha love that is Lee Jammer. Now, both of the jammers will be eligible to score points on their next go round through the pack. Only the lead jammer has that magical power to call off the jam if she sees fit. All right, they're going to skate around back to the pack. It's so artistic, so just nice and slow. Goodbye, The jammers making it through the pack. They will score one point for each opposing member that they pass. Ludicrous speed letting her know she scored the point. She is the lead jammer. She can call it off by touching her hands to her hips twice or more than twice. Four whistles and that's the end of the jam. They have 30 seconds to get back out there, line up and do it all over again. Now, there are rules in roller derby, contrary to popular belief. Things you cannot do is punch. You cannot pull hair. You cannot trip. And absolutely positively, no talking back to those referees, ladies and gentlemen. All right, who wants to see the real thing? 